Gentlemen, if you are not accusing me of a crime, please allow me to go free. Please, please, please be aware that you are being recorded. Handle your Take your hands off my vehicle, please. I, I, listen to me. Please remove your hands listen off my. Me. This is private property. Remove your hands the off my vehicle. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. The tag attached to your car is not registered <clears> to the vehicle. I have nothing else to say to you without my attorney present. So okay, unless. Then, you, then in that case, then can you come out and, and, and handle this properly? Absolutely not. Okay, then get your attorney on the phone. Get your attorney on the phone and let us talk to him. If you're not going to talk to us, let us talk to your attorney then. He won't talk to you. How and, and, are you and, to resolve this then? It, you allow me to go free. That's not the way this works. I, I understand you, you think you know what you're doing right now. I get okay. that. Okay, so then, then you know? Th I, then I know you're wrong. If I am not being accused of a crime, allow I me to go. I am telling you that your car is not registered properly. Under what statute? You have not P provided any please, registration please, please, for the vehicle. Please state the statute. Or the crime that I've committed, because if it's if it relates to 316.605, then please be aware that a violation of subsection is a non-criminal. See, it's uh, it's it's very simple. It's I'm not a criminal. There's it's no not crime. A statute. P provide me the law that I'm breaking. P provide me the law that I'm breaking. I have not committed a crime. I have not broken any laws. Okay. Provide Please that, allow me to go. To I will not be speaking anymore. Huh? Provide that to us. <laughs> Provide that to us and we'll resolve the matter. I have nothing else to say. Mike. I have nothing else why, to say. Why? Then get your attorney on the phone so we can talk to your attorney. I'm not, I won't be doing your job for you. Huh? How, you haven't <clears throat> provided us with an attorney's name to contact. Not going to. Okay, then how are we going to resolve this? You stopped me for no reason. Huh? You have stopped me for no, no I reason. I am telling you, Traveling. I have stopped you because your registration, the tag that is attached to your vehicle is not registered to this vehicle. You don't know that I need a tag for this vehicle, do you? You assume that I do. Well, it is up to us to verify that. I understand. Well, I can't help, so, you. I can't help you do your job. So you're telling me so that you, you guys almost ran me off the road. No. You scared the hell out of me. Right? Be, be, because, because, because you think this vehicle is improper in your eyes. So I've got one, two, three vehicles almost running me off the road. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to post this video up of the way you guys drive around here. Are you going to cooperate with us? I mean, we're trying to be reasonable with you. No, you're not. Not that. You refuse to stop you for, for, for what? Unit already. For what? Huh? For, I, I refuse. I refuse to... I'm done. Listen, if this guy's a supervisor, I want to see his... Everybody's got a supervisor. Right here. Uh, everyone has a supervisor. I'd like to see his. Okay. This guy's threatened with... You're, you're squirting mace in my car. You got your hands on your, whole, on your, on your weapons. Well, I'm sorry, what? You're refusing to cooperate with us. What law requires me to cooperate with you? What law? The fact that you were committing... I didn't ask you that. I asked you what law requires me to cooperate with you. None. You, you cannot state any laws that require me to cooperate with you. Now, I'm sorry that that d doesn't fit with your agenda. Please, allow me to go. I don't know where you got that information. I don't know where you got that information. Well, you guys are nosy, aren't you? Looking in my vehicle. Are you, are you going to cooperate with us? Look at, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> nosy, nosy, nosy. Huh? Mike, are you going to cooperate with us or not? You know, you know, you could be on your way, and this could be all you're, resolved. You're, you're if so, you, if you're so, you're, you're so out of line. I've, I've you. not committed a crime. Listen. I've not broken any laws. Okay. The best thing for you to do would be to let me go on my way. We don't work that way. I can see that. That's not the way the law works. If, if, if you thought I committed a crime, you would extricate me from this vehicle, and you know I haven't. No. I've not committed a crime. Because we I've... handle things a little bit differently. No, this guy tried to squirt me with mace. It's right, there. I can't, it's, it's right on film. I'm so glad okay. I caught that. For no reason. For no reason. For no reason? Because you failed to stop. Failed to stop means you're, means you're going to mace me? No, you failed to stop on a traffic violation. 
Okay. Th how do I know it's a traffic? I don't know anything. Huh? As a matter of fact, I don't even know why you're stopping me. I've already explained that to you. <clears throat> the tag attached to the car is not registered. That is a legal traffic violation. <clears throat> not a crime. Yes, it is. It's a crime that we can stop you for. It's a traffic infraction. You... <laughs> So therefore, really, is it is it, a, it really is it a crime you can break my windows out for? We conduct a traffic violation. Okay. Traffic stop. I'm done. Verify Please stop talking to me. I've ar I've already asked for an attorney. Please stop talking. I, you haven't provided. If I am, am I under arrest? You haven't provided. Am I under arrest? Yes. Uh, what's the charge? Huh? What is the right charge? Now obstruction and resisting. Oh, resisting what? Huh? Resisting what? Resisting arrest. Wait, wait, wait. How do I resist arrest? If I... an investigation. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Why was what was your initial cause of the stop? What was your what was your probable cause to stop me? The, the, the tag attached to this vehicle is not registered to the vehicle. That's not a crime. That is a traffic infraction. I didn't ask you that. We don't have to stop you just you for crimes. We can stop you for traffic infractions. Huh? Okay. Okay. Why were you following me in the first place? I see. And so you suspected? Did you suspect that I was committing? A, did you suspect I was committing a crime? What crime did you? You've not answered the question even once. I asked you when you initially. You're claiming you tried to stop me, and I'm asking you, what crime did you suspect me of committing for you to stop me? So not a crime. It is. Uh, what's what, what's what's the law? What's the what's the, what what is the statute number for the crime? Yes, I, I already have. Fortunately, I have all of that. And guess what? No crime. You you've not tell me yet what statute you've stopped me under. What statute number have you stopped me under? Is it is it three one six point six zero five? Is it three two two point one five? Oh no, that relates to licenses. So, I'm asking you again, what statute have you, what, did you want to pull me over for? Is it 316.605? No. No answer. Because I've not committed a crime. If you guys thought I committed a crime, you wouldn't be standing around right now. You'd have your weapons drawn. You'd be breaking my windows out. I have not committed a crime. Allow me to go on my way. What is your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? Let me see. Jay Forsberg. Now you've, now you've got me detained illegally and not identifying yourself. Does that seem to be okay? Mike. Gentlemen, what is your name and badge number? Registration for the vehicle. M search. Okay. What is what is your badge you number? Produce a registration for the vehicle. Okay. What is your what is, what is your badge number? M search. Go issue, issue him a citation for uh, no reg, unregistered vehicle. I see. So so. City radio. Mike Sopin. How do you spell his last name? I'm I'm asking for your I'm asking for your name and badge number. You have it already. Our badge number is 243. 243. I see. Uh did you know that you you said you're the supervisor, is that correct? Did you know that your officer uh doesn't matter what it is. I have it I have it all on film. Doesn't doesn't matter what it is.
Thank you. So, so, I, so I've asked this officer, uh, what, why, what was the crime he suspected me of to stop me in the first place? It certainly wasn't resisting. You're tagged. Uh huh. And so, what, what, what law or statute number is my tag? What does that mean? Again, I, I, I still don't know. What, what is the statute number? So we're going to give you an opportunity to sign, Not, and produce identification, and sign a citation. Uh, and, unless, you are, unless you are accusing me of a crime. When and if that doesn't happen, you will be removed from your vehicle, and your vehicle will be towed, and you will be under arrest. For, for what crime? What, what, is, what is the threat of arrest? For, for what crime? You're going to arrest me for what crime? No, nothing. You're going you're gonna to make something up as you go along? Is that how it is? You've been given your options, sir. Uh-huh. So, so your way is to, is to strong-arm me and threaten me uh, that if I don't comply... I'm threatening you, sir. Oh, you, oh, you absolutely did. You said, you, excuse me, you said if I don't do something that you want me to I'm do... I'm telling you what's going to happen. That, that sounds like a threat to me. If I don't do, if I don't do what you tell me to do, you're going to arrest me. But haven't told me what I'll be under arrest for. Is that correct? Here we go again. This isn't going to look very good. There's no crime here. Not committed a crime. Not broken any laws. So I'm curious why you haven't told me uh, what, what crime it is that I've committed or under your threat of noncompliance you're going to arrest me for what crime? Still nothing. <clears throat> At what point am I free to leave? You're not free to leave. The officers, uh, am I under arrest currently? The officer's issuing you a citation. Am I under arrest currently? The officer's issuing citations for you. So, so I'm currently not under arrest? I see. How many times do we have to like, go in circles? Uh, we shouldn't have to go in circles at all. I asked you if I was under arrest. If the answer is no... We were stopping you for a traffic violation, at which time you were refusing to provide any information regarding the traffic violation and the things that we were requesting, documents of you, which we have a, light, a rightful, lawful duty to... I, I, don't think, I, don't think you know what, I don't think you know what that phrase means. Okay. I'm bothered. He's been explaining stuff. What I'd like to know is why the person who claims that they're a supervisor threatened to mace me in the face, and then threatened to arrest me, but then refused to tell me why. Not very professional, Supervisor. You tried to break into the vehicle. You tried to mace me in the face. I, I, I hope that I have that recorded. Did you think that was appropriate? Really, if this is the point where you would say, geez, I'm kind of sorry, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. You really think you were justified in almost macing me in the face? Had I stuck a mace can out the window and threatened to mace you in the face, what would be happening right now? A little different story, wouldn't it? You 
were out of line. It'd be nice if you could admit you were out of line. I saw it. It's on camera. You were out of line. A little too aggressive, don't you think? Especially for what you're saying is a simple tag violation. You were ready to mace me in the face. Unregistered. If if the vehicle's unregistered, say again. It's criminal. If the vehicle's unregistered, it's criminal violation. Uh huh. You have failed to produce any kind of identification or documentation. And have you proved? And have you proved? That, have you proven that this vehicle is unregistered? You have not proven that. I don't have to prove it to you. Yes, you do. <laughs> Under what law do I have to prove state it to you? Florida requires you, if you're operating a motor vehicle on the state of Florida roadways, that you have to have it properly registered. Mm -hmm. If you do not have it properly registered, you are to show and identify and, and provide documentation. Listen, your supervisor was way out of line. Okay. Okay. You're telling me that you're telling me that all of this was about a a traffic. Excuse me, a, a, a traffic, traffic a yes. traffic infraction, and your supervisor almost maced me in the face. Let me ask you a question. Because, if I, because listen to me. Because nothing. That was okay, out of that was out of line, and you know it. You're not going to talk. If I Under stuck my mace can out the window, what where would we be right now? You'd be in handcuffs in the back seat of a car. So so it's okay for him, but not for me. Listen to me. You, you don't want to stop. Listen. Stop talk. You're you done. I'm done. Listen. I don't want to listen. I've heard what you kind of bullshit cause, that. Because I keep on repeating myself, and you just your supervisor listen. stuck his mace can in my face. You failed to stop for a traffic violation. That means that that means that I should get maced. You failed to stop for a traffic violation. You didn't answer my question. I didn't fail to stop for anything. Example. I was driving my vehicle. Yes. Yes. What? Without a proper tag attached to the vehicle. <clears throat> Is that, and, and we're going back to this. So that so this guy almost bumped me off the road. You guys all had your hands on your weapons, and this guy almost maced me. Yes, because we did not know what what your intentions were. What my intentions were? Yes. Oh, I see. So so if I don't know what your intentions were, do I get to defend myself with mace? Huh? No. No, of course not. Right? Because you think you have some sort of rights. You think you have some extra rights over people that don't wear that blue costume? Okay. Is that what you think? Your guy was I out of line, and a, and, and a and a simple apology. I don't know why you're calling. I don't know why you're calling me that name. Your guy was out of line, and what he should have done was apologize. He should have said, "You know what? That was a little aggressive, and I apologize." And, and would you cooperate with us then? I would have appreciated if the guy would have said, "You know what? That was a little aggressive. Sorry about that." Uh, but uh, would you let, would answer my question, please? I I, I don't know. I, I can't speak. Would, would you cooperate? I can't speak then? hypothetically, but what I do know is that I, I hope that I've caught that on film, because IA is certainly going to see whether or not that is proper procedure. Uh, was I speeding? Was I driving aggressively? Was I driving erratically? Yeah. I wasn't... You have, a, you have a tag attached to your vehicle that is not registered to your vehicle. I was doing nothing that would make you think that I've committed a crime, right? Did you have... Again, your tag is attached to your vehicle. Let me put this down. Let, 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 let's see if, if we can go over some basics again, okay? What was your probable cause to stop me? The tag. So the, right, but probable cause is very simple. It's really very specific. It means that a reasonable person, let's assume that's one of you, would believe that a crime was in a process of being committed, had been committed, or was going to be committed. Uh, excuse me, this fellow's not in a uniform. Are you a supervisor? No, I'm a detective. A detective? Yes, sir. I suspect that that doesn't help right now. Do you, do you, I mean, what, what, what do you detect? Do you ever, do you ever, is that a pipe you're smoking? Sorry? Is that a pipe, pipe you're smoking? No, it's an e-cigarette. No smoking is good for you. Well, get somebody here that... Can, that will actually do something about this guy almost macing me in the face for no reason. Macing me in the face. This fellow said that they've only wanted to stop me because I've got a, a tag on my car that they're unfamiliar with. Almost, but I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I'm done. I'm done talking. This guy's still on the phone because he doesn't know what to do.
I have now been detained here, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I've got officers looking in my car, trying to break into the car, trying to open the door. This guy who claims to be a supervisor almost makes me in the face. I really hope I had the camera on at that time. He's, he's out of line. An apology. The guy is out of line. He was, that was unbelievably out of line. Take your hand off my vehicle. I grew up in this town 40 years ago, long before you guys were working. My dad, dad was friends with the mayor, the chief. It wasn't like this then. Why are you guys so aggressive now? You don't know that this seems to be a theme lately? We weren't trying to be aggressive at all. Are you kidding me? Please explain how you think that almost knocking me off the road and this guy... Oh, what, about you not what, what about that was aggressive? Huh? What about that was aggressive? Illegal. I was minding my own business. What, really? Yes. You have to be more specific. What is illegal about it? What law... To yield to a, an emergency vehicle that is attempting to make contact with you. Uh, I yielded. I moved over. No. When the, I, I had to. Huh? I, I had to. This guy almost ran me off the road. Well, I tried to turn. He tried to go around. Because he, he was trying to stop you and you refused. He almost bumped me off the road. He's driving very dangerously and erratically. But was, was I driving that way? Was I was I speeding? Was I... Once again, you refused to obey lawful orders. You don't... Lawful orders? What, what orders? When, when an emergency vehicle is trying to stop you. Emergency vehicle is trying to stop me. Oh. I thought I just needed to pull over which, and gave him room to go around, which I did. I don't understand why he's still on the phone. I just, I don't, I, I don't. I, I'm done with this. Let me go on my way. And you're claiming that this is because you don't like the tag that's on this vehicle, right? I almost got maced. Threatened to break out the windows of this vehicle. Threatened to mace me. You had your hand on your weapon also. That was kind of that was kind of scary. Tell me, step out step out of the vehicle. The the three of you thugs, afraid for my life, and I should step out of the vehicle. What would you do if you were by yourself? And, 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 and three random guys, armed, told you to get out of your vehicle. What would you do? Uh, trust my local law enforcement. Wow. Really? Yeah. There's, there's no corrupt law enforcement? Huh? There, there's no such thing as corrupt law enforcement? Oh, there is. Right. Okay. We're, we're Thanks. Really trying to do our job and... Yeah, I think, I think your guy's proven it, okay? He, he didn't come up nicely and talk to me. He had his mace can out. Do you think I have cause to be concerned? I, it's, it's, do I have cause to be concerned? I've asked you to do several things for me, and you refuse to do them. Uh, am, am I required? Is there some law that requires... You to talk to your attorney. I didn't tell you to... No, no, I didn't tell you to talk to my attorney. I told you that I was not going to discuss anything, but, and now I already have. I, did, I don't... I don't speak to your attorney. No, no, no. I would, ne I would not tell you to speak to my attorney. You did? No, no, no. I would never say that. I told you that... You did. I told you that I, I, gave you, I gave you that card that I didn't want to speak to anyone. Don't question me without my attorney present. And silly me, here I am talking. Silly.
I just want to go home. I want to go on my way. There's no crime here. So really let me go on my way. <clears throat> I'm coming back tomorrow. With I'm coming back tomorrow with this guy to move some furniture. I'll be around. I told you I grew up in this town. <clears throat> I would like I'd like that officer to, to apologize I think that you also know that that was too aggressive. Okay. And once again, I, you keep on talking, but refuse to like cooperate with us. I, I'm under no oblig I'm under no obligation to cooperate I with you. I simply asked you if he apologized, would you cooperate with us? I, I can't speak hypothetically, but I'd like an apology. You're not going to get an apology unless you cooperate. With uh, me. Again, there's all these rules and stipulations, and, and you don't think that that's corrupt. Didn't, didn't you swear an oath? Didn't you swear an oath to uphold the Constitution? When are you doing that now? You, really, you are absolutely violating numerous rights of mine, and you think okay, okay. You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, and and yet, it, and yet you're violating mine, you're violating my rights. This is unbelievable. What are we waiting for? Hang tight. I think I'm done waiting. I mean, place me under arrest or allow me to leave. Well, aren't you at your twenty? Aren't, kind of hard to do our job and do what we're trying to aren't do. you at your twenty minutes already? Huh? Don't you guys make a decision what you're going to do within twenty minutes? It, it's kind of hard for us to do what we're trying to do when you're not wanting to cooperate. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. Why do you keep calling me that? How do you know that? Huh? How do you know that? How do you know that? How do I know that? Yeah. Because it was on your computer screen when we pulled you over. It's on my computer screen? Did you know that, um, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter what I say, I, I know how it works. Okay. No, nothing. <clears throat> Would you please take your hand off my vehicle? Okay. Would you please take your hand off my vehicle? No. So I'm not under arrest currently. Is that correct? You don't want to, you're not, you're not going to uh, <laughs> do anything to work with us. Uh, you're not going to talk to us. You're not going to cooperate with us. Regardless of what we say, you're just going to rebuttal it. And if I am not under arrest, why aren't you allowing me to pass? Because you're being still stopped for your traffic Detained. Violation. Detained. Stop traffic violation. Detained. It's traffic either, violation. listen, either, under, either I'm under arrest or I'm not. Traffic A detainment... Violation. A, de a detainment is an arrest. You're arresting my forward movement. No, a detain is not an arrest. You're working on, you're working on, on building up to an arrest. D for what charge? Huh? What, what would you be charging me with? Cooperate. Resisting to cooperate. What law requires me to cooperate? The fact that you am, I breaking, am I breaking a law by not cooperating? Am I breaking a law by not cooperating? Yes. What law is it? Huh? What is the law? State the law. I mean, when you write, when you. I, I can repeat myself 
I'm definitely not going to stand under this. This is. Go that way, yeah. I don't understand what. What's happening here? Your fellow, your the, the young guy, decided he didn't want to stop me. Did you know that? Oh, so you, you acknowledge that he was attempting to stop you? No. That uh, pretty much that? No. What you just said, right? No. So you knew he was trying to stop you? Absolutely not. And then he pulled off because he was ordered to? He was ordered to. Right. I, I don't know about that. I don't have a, well, I didn't have a scanner on at the time, so I don't know what he was ordered to do. So you, so you do acknowledge that he was trying to stop you? No. Yeah. See, 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 now that... <sighs> so now we've got this guy in the car with his bright lights on, shining on me. I mean, th this whole thing, I, it, the same guy, the same obnoxious guy who was already overly aggressive. Simple apology, that would have been nice. Very exciting for Lighthouse Point Police for a for a tag that you don't like. It's very exciting. I'm sorry, I didn't get your badge number, by the way. What's your, uh, what's your tag read? What, what is what is your what is your tag read? What tag do you have attached to your car? I I don't know. You don't know what tag you have attached. To your I'm car? asking you for your name and badge number. Aren't you required to give that to me? No, I'm not required to. You're not required to. No. But I'll give it to you if you want it. I was under the impression you were required to. No, there's no, no such thing as saying that I have to give you my name. And, and How do I even know you were a police officer? Huh? How do I even know who you are? Because we're all in, in marked uh, police cars. Really? Cars I Really? Uniforms. That So that means something? What does that mean? You have three ways to identify yourself, don't you? At this three ways to identify myself? Yeah, aren't you yeah. supposed to? I, I don't know. I mean... You tell me, since you just told me there's three ways. Aren't there multiple ways for you to identify yourself? Yeah. Called a marked police car. Right, because those can't... Uniform. Right, right, because nobody drives around in, in marked cars. Police uniform. Uh, That's two ways right there. Right, because I can't get those at Joe's police supply. Okay. So what's the third? Well, where, 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 where's your identification? Huh? Do you have any identification on you? Not on me right now. Not on you right so you but, and so you expect me to believe that you're a police officer. Not standing right here, I do not have any of my identification in my pocket. <laughs> I you know, I know you're used to people rolling over for you, but there are hundreds of cases where people pull over because fancy lights are going and vehicles look like uh you, I haven't seen any. You've, you've said some name. Huh? You, you, you haven't identified anything. Would you like to call the police department and verify that we are police officers? In fact, conducting a traffic stop like <clears> this? <throat> Started by telling you, afraid out of my mind when you guys drove the way that you did. And approach my vehicle the way that you're trying to break in here. Grabbing the door handle with the mace can out. Wow, that was, that was scary. That was...
So would you say we've been here approximately 20 minutes now? Because you didn't like something about my vehicle, I, I'm I'm afraid out of my mind from this guy right here. This guy? This, I really don't want this guy to approach me at all. You're not going to mace me, are you? Supervisor, person who claimed to be a supervisor, who I, I just want to make sure, I mean, I don't know, even if you say you're not going to mace me, I'm a little concerned about that. <clears throat> Claimed to be a supervisor, um, but drove erratically, almost knocking me off the road, and then approached the vehicle in a wild fashion with his mace can out. That, that was that was that was one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me. Because they don't like something about my vehicle, not because they can articulate some sort of a crime that they suspect me of. All of this is because they don't like something about my vehicle. Threatened me, said he would. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help you. What, what, He said that if I didn't do what he said, he would arrest me, but wouldn't tell me what he would arrest me for. Don't talk to me. Go away. Seriously. No, seriously. Me? What they're doing right now is, is playing you against me. Don't do it. Right, just, just no, no. Uh-uh. Go that... No, I'm not. They may make something up. And if that's the case, then that's whatever it is. This is about, they don't like something about my vehicle. Okay? Just Thanks for your concern. All right. call, call Kelly. Do you have Kelly's number? You don't have it? No, I don't. Don't worry about it. I'd like to be free to go on my way now. What is it you're looking for? Maybe I can help you. Any weapons or anything like that? <sighs> you have any weapons in the car? I'm not answering any questions without my attorney present. Well, we've already asked you to call him. Well, he's going he's gonna to tell me not to talk to you. We're still here more than 30 minutes later. <clears throat> I've, not been, I've not been charged with a crime. I've not been placed under arrest. I've asked the person who claims to be a supervisor numerous questions. He refuses to answer. And they're obviously waiting. They're, they're waiting to make something up about what they're going to do. I'm, I'm now told that who, who's on the way? A lieutenant? Who, who's on the way? What, what are we waiting for? I said, what are we waiting for? Waiting for you to cooperate.
find a, you know, a tag on the vehicle. Uh -oh. Okay, so we're back in Lighthouse Point. Uh, now the daytime shift has stopped me. I was trying to explain that uh, two nights ago, 17 officers were out here, including... In Florida, you need, you need permission okay. from everybody. You need consent from everybody in order to audio. Uh, so turn the vehicle off. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not uh, following any of your orders. Uh, you, don't, you don't order me around. I am not under your command. Sir, you need to identify yourself because of the traffic. And now, and now I am not speaking to you without a lawyer. Okay, listen to me. I mean, I'm going to break your window if you don't let me in. I'm sorry, I've not committed any crimes. You have. You, you're driving around without a tag on the back of your vehicle, <clears throat> sir. Not a crime. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pepper spray the inside of the car. <sighs> okay, so I've now been threatened by the Lighthouse Point Police Department to pepper spray the car. Uh, try to explain to him that uh, uh, just, just, not, just not interested, okay? St stop touching my vehicle. Uh, uh, this just happened. Just a couple of days ago, and now we're okay. Oh, he's got his weapon out. The, the the officer has his weapon out. I don't quite understand why. Oh, oh, oh he's oh, he's definitely he's definitely got it. He's got his weapon out here for some reason. I can see him, but I don't know why. Why is that weapon drawn? Why is your weapon drawn on me? I you could see me just fine a moment ago. Officer? That is an unbelievably aggressive move that you are making towards me. I have not committed any crimes and I have not broken any laws. That is not a crime. If you are, if you want to state the crime that I've committed, all right. So the so the officer has his weapon drawn for some reason. Absolutely scared out of my mind at this point. Call your supervisor to the scene right now. Unbelievable. So this guy has his weapon drawn on me. Call your supervisor to the scene. Fine. Okay, so this officer has threatened to pepper spray me. <clears throat> Why is that weapon drawn on me? I'm sorry, I could not hear. Say again. I'm afraid for my life. I am absolutely not going to. I will not do that. I am. A, I am afraid for the safety of my life. If, if 12 of your officers were able to see me in the dark two nights ago without drawing their weapons out, why is that weapon drawn on me? We have a, we have a what? You have a, you have a what? Right. No reason here whatsoever. Officer, I am no threat to you. My hands are here. Okay? You have no reason to have that weapon drawn on me. You can see my hands when you're at the window. Officer is being obnoxious right now. You saw my hands 
and I was no threat to you. When you threatened to pepper spray me, do you think that was appropriate? Do you have reason to pepper spray me? Okay, I'm trying... <laughs> Please call Commander Ord. Please call your commander. Officer, you are out of line with that weapon being drawn on me. I want to know why you have your weapon drawn on me. He continues to... I'm sorry, say again? I'm afraid for my life. I... Okay. Please, please call your supervisor. Everyone has a supervisor, please call yours. I'm afraid for the safety of my life. All right, so again, we're just sitting. I don't know why we're sitting. We're back to this again. Still sitting here. This guy still has his weapon.